Does your house look like a haunted mansion? Well, don't worry. My name's Andrew Meads, and I'm a professional power washer, and I've got your answer to spiderwebs. In this video, I'm gonna take you through my experiment to find the perfect solution to obliterate those webs. And spoiler alert, we're using science to break down the webs at a molecular level. Then, I'm gonna go over different application methods that you can use to apply the solution to your home. But before we do that, we're gonna go over what you need to protect yourself and what surfaces to avoid getting it on. Finally, the satisfying transformation. Watch as I use my professional equipment to reclaim my own spiderweb infested house, leaving it sparkly clean and spider free. So let's get into it. First, we need our test subjects. Think of them as forbidden cotton candy. Yum. We're gonna start with a little experiment to see what actually breaks down these webs. Test tube one, it's the water control. Test tube two, 100% sodium hypochlorite. And test tube three is laundry detergent. Let's see what happens. Five minutes, 10 minutes, and the results are in. Water, nothing. Laundry detergent, also nothing. But 100% SH, the webs are gone. Now the question is, what's the effective percentage we wanna use it at? 1%, 3%, or 5%? Let the battle begin. At five minutes, the 1% is barely doing anything, the 3% is starting to show some action, and the 5% web destruction. Let's give it another five. And there you have it. 5% SH with a 10 minute dwell is the answer to spiderwebs. So how does SH work its magic? Spiderwebs are made of protein and sodium hypochlorite is a strong oxidizer. It breaks down the proteins in the web, causing it to dissolve. This oxidation process essentially unravels the web structure, turning it into nothing. We've run out our experiment, let's go power wash the house get rid of some spiders. Now we've proven that a 5% SH mixture is what we need. The next question becomes, how do we apply it over the exterior of our house, right? We wanna knock off all of these pesky spider webs here. So what different ways do we have to apply product to the side of our house? I'm gonna show you a few that you can do as a homeowner, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of the tools I have as a professional power washer. Make sure you're not wearing any clothes you don't wanna get bleached. This is my bleach hat. Make sure you wear your PPE. Make sure to check all your windows are closed. And if you're doing this professionally, always ask the homeowner if they know if they have any leaky doors or windows. Before we go any further though, a crucial warning. Sodium hypochlorite is a powerful chemical. It can damage certain surfaces, so you must take precautions. Avoid getting SH on bare metal, wood, and dry plants. Cover or soak and rinse off these areas before, during, and after. If you're unsure, always test a small, inconspicuous area first and rinse well with plenty of water. Don't be afraid though. With a cautious approach, you'll be fine. So for small areas, you can just mix a 5% mixture with a couple drops of laundry detergent. We still want a detergent in there even though I didn't use it in our tests. Um, a 5% mixture in a spray bottle. You can just apply it to small areas and we know that it is gonna break down. Give it a five minute dwell. After five minutes, just rinse it off with a garden hose. Okay, so we have a spray bottle for small areas. The next step up is a pump up sprayer. So this is from a company called Sprayers Plus. They make really robust, this is the two gallon pump up sprayer. Um, it says acid only, but I put all sorts of stuff through here. This will allow us to do larger, or er, more surface area than just a spray bottle alone. I'll show you this. They also make fancy battery operated ones that push air into the sprayer for you. Um, I'm gonna use uh, one of these just to show you how you can apply to larger areas. Always move furniture and things you don't want to get bleach on. Protect your stuff. Put it away. And pre-wet any vegetation. You want to saturate the soil so the bleach can't get sucked up. And a sprayer can be great for any touch-up spots you missed. So always have one handy. Make sure to take the top sprayer out and rinse it with water. So you make a bottle, and when you're done, take your sprayer out, rinse this through with water, and just get a cap or something to keep it on, and you always have this on hand, and then rinsing this 
won't kill your, uh, getting the bleach out of your sprayer so it doesn't die on you. So a good pump up sprayer will allow you to cover larger areas and it might even let you hit places that are higher up. But to do a whole house is gonna take more time. So what's the next level up? I'll link sprayers plus bleach sprayers in the video description. The next level up is to use a 12 volt pump. But before we do that, I'm gonna try two ways using a power washer to apply a strong enough bleach solution to the exterior of the house. The first is using a downstream attachment where as the water goes through the hose, it will suck up product. The second is using something called an X-Jet, right? Where it's the same concept as the water's being shot out of the attachment, it's gonna pull product. The only difference is we put this at the end of our line so we don't have that much back pressure. So I'm gonna do something called a bucket test with these two products to see just how strong of a percentage I can pull. So I have 200 feet of pressure line attached. We're gonna put my downstream injector at the beginning of it. And we're gonna use a known quantity. Let's pretend this water is one gallon of bleach. And using a nozzle that's designed to pull soap. So I'm doing a bucket test. Start up my machine here. So for one gallon of product, I pulled about 15 gallons of water. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same test, keeping everything exactly the same, except I'm gonna use an X-Jet. And I've got my hypothetical one gallon of product here. So one gallon of product. Just over five gallons. Okay, doing the bucket test with the downstream and the X-Jet. Uh, it's looking like the X-Jet comes out at about 18%. The downstream attachment was coming out at about six, uh, just over 6%. So in theory, we should be able to use the downstream attachment and apply bleach strong enough over that 5% that it will allow it to break down the spider webs in about 10 minutes. So let's try using the downstream attachment. Okay, so go to the pool supply store, get yourself some sodium hypochlorite, and you're gonna take your jug of it. You're gonna add a couple ounces of laundry detergent. So two shot glasses worth into there. I'm gonna actually use a professional product called, called Eliminator. Do, 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 do. A little bit into that, perfect. And now we're gonna downstream this onto the house and we're gonna see if that's enough to break down the spider webs after 10 minutes. 6.25 percentage should be good. Don't forget to mix it up. Sorry, buddy. So we have my, my large friend here. Look at the size of this guy. Oh, oh. Look at the size of this guy. Here, you can get relocated. So the bleach solution also works on all of this build up. All their spider poop and everything like that cleans that up. Same idea, just breaks it down and you can rinse it off. Okay, now I'm all done. This house is now spider free. Uh, all said and done, I used about 80% of a container. So probably about $40 or so worth of SH alone, a little bit of soap and detergent, and then you've got your power washing equipment. But um, yeah, if we take a peek at it, um, not much, a uh, little bit up here on the, oh, little touch up there. Um, but there was a ton of spider webs all up under here, uh, especially in the soffit areas. 
Um, because we tested it, we know that if you get a 5% concentration of SH, 12% 12, uh, 12 SH on the side of the house and you give it 10 minute dwell time, it will break down the spider webs so that you can uh, rinse them off easily. If you just use water alone, it's not gonna rinse off. The spider webs are gonna stick on the side and they're gonna stay there if you can even knock them down. And, uh, so uh, yeah, there's spider webs all through here that are nice and gone. So that's a bit about the process. If you have any questions, just let me know. Make sure to follow along if you like this kind of stuff. Today was an experiment to prove to myself that SH actually can break down the spider webs and to figure out what concentration is the best for it. So thanks and I hope you have a great day.